Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on Beware of Wolves in Sheep's Clothing. Take a look at the popular preachers and teachings of our day. Do the preachers show righteousness, humility and faithfulness in the way they live? Check whether their teachings are rooted in God's word or centered in human concepts appealing to our ears. Are those listening to them grow in Christ or merely being entertained? Your answer would determine the type of teachings and the preachers you are exposed to. In Matthew 7:15 to 20, Jesus warns us to be aware of the false prophets and gives us very concrete and practical guidelines for our discernment. Like the presence of false prophets in Old Testament, there are counterfeits in our time who promote easy religion and spirituality while in reality they neglect god's true demands we are told in matthew 24:11 and 24 that there will be more and more false prophets in last days we must be aware of false prophets who claim to be a prophet from god and utter falsehoods in the name of divine prophecies jesus said that false prophets comes to us in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravenous wolves they come as wolves dressed as sheep the most ravenous of animals disguised as the most harmless of animals this is the deceitfulness of false prophets unfortunately we are more influenced to believe anything in religion if it comes from ordained ministers and famous teachers Many are deceived by the outward appearance of counterfeits. They are trained and professional in deceiving even the very elect. In Matthew 7:16 to 18, Jesus describes how false ones can be recognized. Their actions end up revealing their true nature. They may be able to hide their deadliness, but eventually they will be exposed. They may look like sheep but they will always end up behaving like wolves. They appear harmless like sheep but they always seek to further their own interest at the expense of the flock. They preach a certain amount of gospel truth. They talk about prayer, Jesus and the Bible but under the layer of truth is the trap of error Paul describes the nature of false ones in Philippians 3 18 and 19 as they are the enemies of the cross of Christ whose end is destruction whose god is their belly and whose glory is in their shame who mind earthly things this is the age of deception The Bible wants us to test the spirits and to be aware of deceivers. If a blind lead a blind, both are likely to fall into a ditch. We need to be very careful about the teachings reaching us today. If the teaching does not draw us to holiness, inspires us to imitate Christ, then it would be better to ignore them sound doctrine and holy living are the marks of the true ones the way to identify a counterfeit is to know the original the best safeguard against false teaching is the regular study of the word of god neglecting the earnest study of the word of god makes us easy prey to the ferocious wolves in sheep's clothing may god enable us to be vigilant and equipped to recognize the counterfeits and grow in the right spirituality thank you for listening god bless you